Well, we're now joined by former Metropolitan Police Detective Inspector Simon Harding. Simon, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, we're expecting a bit more news, but what we do know so far is a body has now been found in connection uh, with the search for Gaynor Lord. Um, in terms of looking at this as a whole, learning lessons from what happened with the Nicola Bully investigation, uh, have, can we conclude essentially the police have done a very good job here? They've worked quickly and efficiently in challenging circumstances. Uh, in this search to get to the point that they have today? Yeah, it's quite a, you know, when, when you have 30 odd thousand people going missing a year, this is, you know, obviously it's, it's caught the headlines a bit, but it's um, it's similar to many others where, you know, the search is where somebody goes towards things like rivers and is seen and, and there's, it's out of character. Then obviously, you know, they, they're following a, a well-versed procedure that they do in that force as many other forces do around the country. So, yeah, it's very it's uh, it's been done, you know, to the book, really. And uh, obviously, but that, the most important thing is that the, the tragic news that, that the family have been expecting, I think. And, uh, you know, our heart goes out to them. Uh, Simon, uh, we're with Peter Blexey from the Met Police, and uh, he was pointing out yesterday that the that water, the rivers, the sea can be very slow to give up their dead, if you like. And t to some extent, Lancashire police were very unlucky that it took, uh, I think it was the best part of two, three weeks, wasn't it, before they actually found Nicola's body. Uh, up in Norfolk, uh, the, that process has been that much quicker. But what we saw up in Lancashire was this sort of rather shocking spectacle of hundreds of amateur sleuths descending on that tiny town where she lived by the river, going up and down the river, conducting their own ridiculous sort of Twitter investigations. Now, the time scale, the time frame here up in Nor Norfolk is much, much uh, smaller, obviously. But I w it does look as if, perhaps, we, we like to talk about lessons being learned, it looks to me as if maybe the public did learn a few lessons about what happened in Lancashire and we didn't see any amateur sleuths descending on Wellmsley Park. Uh, perhaps a, an encouraging development there? Yeah, I hope the public have learned by that. I mean, um, you know, there's, there's two folds. The public will learn that their intrusion in those sort of circumstances was particularly unhelpful, but it was kind of, you know, helped along really and, and allowed by Lancashire at the time. And I know they've reviewed that about, you know, having having a cordon in place, you know, they, they call it crime scene cordons, obviously, but, you know, no one's it was ever saying in Lancashire it was necessarily a crime scene, but they were new. And I think the idea now that Norwich have adopted uh, what, what most of us would have done is, is a very large cordon around a very large area to prevent anybody coming in, um, you know, interfering with the scene perhaps, or, or because they found items close by, they'll be searching, they will have searched everywhere. So it, what they've done is they prevented those those lessons or prevented those problems that they had in Lancashire where the lessons were learned that people just were, you know, it was it was quite sickening to see how people took it upon themselves to think that they you know, they could do better than the police at the time. Um, so I hope, you know, I hope people do see this one as as this is what the police normally do. It's been a very, um, what would appear to be a very sharp operation and and, but unfortunately with those circumstances at the end. The police, of course, though, are still left with uh, a case to solve in many respects, having found what we understand could well turn out to be Gaynor Lord's body. They still have to figure out how she ended up in this river and why she ended up in that river. Yeah, they do as, as much as they possibly can. Obviously, the, the, the circumstances that surround her leaving work and, you know, um, will, will give them an idea of perhaps what her mindset was at the time. They'll know lots of information from family members around, you know, how she was in the in the days, weeks and months uh, preceding what happened. So, you know, building that picture with CCTV and looking at telephones and all sorts of things that, in her background to to identify why, you know, she, she has ended up there. But you know, it's um, unless there's anything particularly suspicious from the post mortem, you know, we're likely to see that um, you know this this may not go into a full blown investigation that, that um, you know, like murder inquiries or things like that that might happen. This might just be a, you know, a very a very sad, a tragic um, end to to her life. Simon, thank you ever so much.